that and you know got to get some extra rolls and you got a meal for a couple of meals like the appetizer sampler at applebee's is my favorite thing to get you get wings a quesadilla um spinach artichoke dip and mozzarella sticks oh love all that fucking good i always get the mild wings with uh blue cheese i'm in heaven i can eat that for two days oh, so good every bit of it too minus the pico de gallo i don't like that shit in my uh, quesadilla I'm very picky with that. You got to give it to me on the side. And if you OD on the cilantro, I'm going to have a tough time eating it. Because I can handle cilantro, but don't OD on that. Because it's very strong. The more the better for me. Yeah, you either love that shit or, well, I guess there is an in-between because I'm an in-between. No, I'm not. I kidding. love it. I could eat cilantro like lettuce in replacement of lettuce. What? Just, just put a handful of cilantro on it. Fuck yeah, I'll eat it. A little bit of lime juice too. Mm-hmm. I love it. The more cilantro, the better. I don't know rock songs. No, I've asked him many times about very common songs. And he goes, Shut up, T girl. <laughs> I can't stand heavy metal, T girl. I can't stand rock. That heavy metal shit, the bang bang stuff, gives me freaking anxiety. Does it? Yes, Katie. I don't like that. Uh uh. The stuff that Megs listens to, oh my gosh, I can't take it. No. Mm. I like house music, dance music, pop music, um, R&B. I like a lot of music. I just don't like um, country, and I don't like um, heavy metal. But I'd rather listen to country any day over heavy metal. I don't like heavy metal at all. Hell no. Uh-uh. That shit does nothing for me. But you put on some Shania Twain or what's um that blonde hair singer, Faith Hill. I like Faith Hill. Her husband I like. Well, I like him for other reasons, but Tim McGraw. Yeah. Yes, I may. Tim McGraw's a good guy. They just make the most cutest couple. And I, they must have been married forever now, right? Yeah, they've been married years. I love that for them. I just seen Pantera and I thought it said Panera. I was like, ooh, I like their Aussie hug of cheese bagels. <laughs> I'm such a fatty. <laughs> We're such fatties, right, Panera? Oh, yeah, their mac and cheese is supposed to be real good. I heard that, too. Everything there is good. I like all their bakery items. Can I tell you I never ate there? Really? No. I heard so many things about that place. Good things. Ooh, it's they're so good. Like around me. Like, I don't see it. If I, if I see it, I would hop. I've never had Chick-fil-A. How's he calls any rock music heavy? Because I, I don't know shit about it. Ooh, I hear thunder. Good night, Kim. Good night, Kim. Kim goes to bed with the fucking chickens. Hello, Valkyrie. Hello, Paul. Oh. Uh, what other country music? I like Dolly Parton, of course. Yeah. Um, Garth Brooks. Yeah, okay. I don't really. His wife. Okay. She's a sweet lady. I don't know any of her songs. Uh, she had a couple of hits back in like the 90s. She hasn't had any hits in the past 20 years, I wouldn't say. Yeah, I don't know none of her songs. I mean, I like her. She's sweet. Then um, Carrie Underwood, she's like, oh my gosh, every host, every time there's an award show, she hosts it. I'm so, and Kimmy Chisney, Kimmy Chisney, whatever his name is. I'm not a big Carrie Under Underwood fan. I mean, she's good. But they, you, I mean, they play her out. They really do. And now fucking Miranda's turning into a bitch and getting a bunch of haters because of it. She's doing something. Like, she's going through something and she's just being a bitch to everyone. I don't know. It's like, damn, Carrie Underwood. Every fucking CMA Awards, it's Carrie Underwood hosted. I'm so damn sick of it. Why? What's wrong with Jason Aldean, Billy? Says he needs our support. They need to have me and Katie host the show. Now, that would be a good show. That would fucking be a good damn show. Thank you, Rosie. We need outfit changes, too. Oh, hell yeah. And wigs and everything. Yeah, and makeup and the whole nine yards. Yep. Modern country. I like modern country. Some of it. It's all right. I really like 90s country better. I think one of my favorite country people besides Dolly Parton is Shania Twain. I just love, love her. Because she's just such a real next door Honey, girl. Over there on this side of my house, it's raining. I can see the rain, but right in front of me, it's not. 
look, not raining, sunshine. Over there, if you look closely, you see the rain coming down. Literally half of my yard is raining in. Isn't that weird? That's wild, yeah. That is weird. Shania is sweet. And she's beautiful. Yeah, she was in town um, this past week. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. She is on tour. She was just here doing a concert. I didn't, obviously, I didn't go. But I heard about it. She had a blonde, she had blonde hair. Mm-hmm. Long, she, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. She doesn't look like she used to. She used to no. have, like, really dark hair. Oh, now it's hitting over here. They are the highest paid singers, I heard. Country singers. They make the most fucking money. I wonder why. Me too, because can I tell you something? You don't hear country music here. You don't see radio stations playing country music. You never hear it at a bar, ever hear it at a club. That's why my, I'm not used to it. So, I, you know, I can't say oh, I love it. Um, never, ever hear country music here. If you come over here, go to the bars, you might not even like the music here. I probably won't. And same if I go to tennis of Indiana. CMT canceled. Uh, why? Aldine. They tried to do that with, um, what's his name? Way, I don't know. Morgan. Waylon Morgan or Morgan Waylon, something like that. And it didn't work. I had to turn off my air conditioner. It's so damn cold. They're saying it's a publicity stunt. Pub publicity stunt the house. Are you there? Yeah, I'm sitting here fucking with my eyelashes. Checking my DM. Somebody wants my email address. Hollywood is going to shit. They're all upset because they're losing money. Then fuckers make so much money anyways. They're saying AI is replacing them. Okay, I'm back. You back? Shady back. Back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Well, I got good news. What is that? Uh, she hasn't been re reviewing you. Good. I told you it's good news. Good. I, hey, when you started to go live today, and I, um, I'm not going to eat dinner, sweetheart, because I'm maybe I'll go out. I'll eat later. Um, yeah. So when I finished my live stream and you were on, I said, let me check that bitch because I'm going to drag her if I see her doing the same shit. And nope, Katie. Nope. Has she even been going live? Uh, I think she did one live. Just talking with her audience, and she, all I heard her say was the audacity of people telling me to subscribe to her Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> like who does this? <laughs> all right, bitch, shut the fuck up. That giggle gets on everyone's nerves. That's all she said, and I'm like, well, then don't fucking do it and uh, be the stupid bitch that you are. I'm not surprised she didn't come on, pal. I'll get it out of my hand. I'm going in. Something bit my calf. I feel the bone. The calf? Yeah, on the back of my calf. Of all places. Where are they? Little lazy dogs. They ate, and now they're passed out. Mm-hmm. See, now it's all burned. And it's real good. I keep hearing, like, weird noises. Tom Cruise is 60 already. So, what are you going to do? You going to get laid tonight? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. She don't talk to me like this over the phone. <laughs> well? I, you know, these questions, Katie, could be asked over the phone, not to the world. Okay. I'm going to get laid tonight. <laughs> I would probably slow down. I tried well, to. That sounds wonderful. Ladies' night, I guess. Uh, Do not lose your phone. No. Um, you guys, uh, Tom Cruise is a handsome man. I'm going to give him that. He, but he's not exactly my kind of guy. Um, I don't know. I don't. I mean, if he asked me out, you know damn well I would say yes, right? But what are you drinking? Milk? Yeah, I got heartburn. Oh. So I just took a no-meprazole, too. Oh, okay. 
Um, you know, uh, Tom Cruise is gay, right? Uh, yes, I've been hearing that. He and I've been hearing he goes to um, he used to go a lot to uh, P, P Town, somewhere um, in the island where the all the gays hang out. Um, but yeah, how did you hear, or where did you hear? About five or six years ago, when I was in my heyday of drama live, there was this guy who came in. Can't remember his name off the top right now. It'll come to me. Someone in chat will know it. Anyways, he was one of my regulars in chat. And then one time he's like, I want to come up and tell my story. And he starts to tell us his story. And he was like, I used to do gay porn and all this. And he was like, I was a wrestler in gay porn. And we were like, okay. And uh, he was like, and you're not going to believe this. When he started showing himself, well, he had an affair. Okay, when Tom Cruise was married to Nicole Kidman, he was the one who had the affair with Tom Cruise that made him have that got the divorce. Well, it was all over the tabloids and everything. And the next thing I know, once I looked up his name and I seen his porn, it was all connected together. Well, he started being a little shady motherfucker. So I told him I was going to tell Scientology because Scientology made him sign an agreement that he wouldn't say anything or even talk about it. So when he was telling us the story, he couldn't even say the names. We just put it all together at the end because someone Googled his name and that's how it came up. And here we are sitting and it's him. It's him in the tabloids and he's sitting right in front of us. We're like, whoa, this is fucked up. What was his name? What the fuck was that dude's name? He went by Drama Llama. That was his actual YouTube name. Was it Josh? I think it was Josh. Look it up. You look it up a bit. But anyways, so we got into it one day, and I said, I'm calling Scientology on you. And I had, to, at the time, I had me and my gay friend Joe. He's from New York. He goes, he gambles a lot and all that. And he was on panel with me. And we were like, yeah, we're calling Scientology. So we did, and a bunch of weird shit started happening to us, so we fucking bowed out. Oh, it's Josh. So it's Slater? Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, okay. I just looked it up. Is it Josh? I, I didn't see the first name. It just says Slater. Yeah, uh, Kimbrough was in here. She'd remember his name because they talked a lot. But anyways, once I threatened him with yeah, signing... I'm not surprised that he tries to keep it hush. But I'm not surprised at all. Well, Scientology tries to keep it hush, hush. That's well, you ain't threatening nobody, bitch, because we. You cut out what? Let me talk to you, froze up. There you is. Okay, I hear you now. You see me? You see me? Okay. I don't see you. Um, I see your avatar. You know, that's what I mean. A lot of these people, you know, they, they claim. Um, that they don't come out because it'll ruin their career. I can't think of one person that had their career ruined after coming out. Not one. I can't either really how I figured it. Okay. Yeah, it, it's it doesn't I uh -uh. I mean, look at Ellen. She thought it was going to be this big thing. It was such a big hoopla. But she's huge. Yeah, I heard Ellen is a bitch, though, in real life. Oh, no, is she? I don't know. That's what I've heard. You know how people talk. People say, I'm a bitch. You're a bitch. Do you consider yourself a bitch? Yes, I can be. Okay. Not very much can be. What, you don't think you're a bitch? Do I have to answer that? <laughs> Just wondering. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can be for sure. I think I can be. Um, but um, I'm not I'm not intimidated by confrontation. Uh, and yeah, I can be a bitch. And not only I, I just I'll have a fucking conversation with you and put you in your place. We've seen you at it, Hussey. Um, but I'm from New York, so New Yorkers, that's part of their attitude, too. Baker's man. You can start shit with me. Look, I get it. People come to my chat and they talk shit. I listen. I don't always do what they say, but I do listen. Why, Hollywood, do you think that Hussey could take you? Hollywood says he wouldn't start shit with you. Why? New Yorkers are different than Midwestern folks. Yes, we are. 
How? Yeah. I think you guys are much nicer than us. We are um, probably short. We are probably rude compared to you guys. We're not I as, see that. We're probably not as friendly. Um, but that's just. But we will help you. Like if you you know you need directions or stuff like that, and you ask us a question. We're not going to be rude and obnoxious, but we're not very friendly. Other states you go to, they're super super friendly. Yeah. When I uh, was in Las Vegas and we had a place in Vegas, when I moved there, my neighbor came knocking on the door and I'm like, who the fuck is knocking on my door? I just moved here. But, uh, and they're like, hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm your neighbor across you know, the hall and I just wanted to introduce myself. I was like, okay, but you don't have to do that. I thought it was like weird. But really? Was, yeah, because I'm not used to that. But I'm like, wow, how nice. How fucking nice. You know, New Yorkers don't do that. Mm -mm. See, when I when our neighbors moved in across the way, across the street, I came up and I introduced myself and everything like that. But Kim, my other neighbor, the real nice one, she came over with like a welcome basket and shit, just like she does for everyone new in the neighborhood. That's really sweet. That's yeah, good people. That's how it should be. No, my neighbors in Westchester, they were obnoxious as fuck. Why? They were just stuck up. Everybody was in competition with each other. Who's driving the latest car? Who's driving the better car? Who's, you know, it was just nobody talked to each other. You hardly even looked at each other. It's very, very different here. That's crazy. Yeah, all our neighbors. I wave at my neighbors every day. Like every time they walk out, it could be three or four times a day. We're waving at each other. Hmm. No. That's what you do. I wave at everyone who drives by. You do? Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. waves. Uh -uh. That's how it is around here. And if you don't wave, you're rude. Yeah, you're considered an asshole if you don't wave. See, when I moved to the apartment in Westchester, that area, my neighbor across the street was like that. She had to talk to everybody that walked by, everybody that drove by. She knew everybody's fucking business. She knew who was going in your house and what time and how long they stayed. And she would... Just talk, and I would be like, shut the fuck up. I didn't like that. Like, people don't want to always fucking stand outside and talk to you for 20 minutes. Have a good day. <laughs> I didn't know it. Fuck you. I, ain't nobody got time for that shit. Just <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> That's you know, so bad. Busy bodies, nosy neighbors. I hate that shit. Leave me the fuck alone. They want to know what's up with you, what you're doing, what you're getting into for the day. But those are also the neighbors that'll watch your house, and if anyone tries to break in, they'll be the first to let you know. Be on the phone with the cops. And even the doorman, like, let's say you're coming home at night, right? And you bring in a man, and it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and my lipstick is smeared all over my face from kissing in the cab. They know what's going on. They know exactly what's going on. They all up in your business. So when I'm coming home, and I got the wig in my hand, and my sunglasses in my hand, and this other dude is standing next to me waiting for the elevator, he know it. What did I say? He know it. They don't say fucking nothing. They better not fucking say anything. But he said, uh-huh, he get his ass down there. When go upstairs. Ask a they gotta let him out. <laughs> you guys, sometimes when I come home, my wig is in my hand, my lipstick is all smeared in my face. I look like a damn mess. And I'm talking to the door, man, if I'm home alone. Hi, how are y'all? <laughs> hey, he's looking at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> See. Now, do, your door, do you know your doorman well? Is it the same guys all the time? <laughs> Huh? You sound like a robot. Now it's better. I can't yeah. hear. I heard you clearly for a minute. I see. It was like you sounded like a robot, then went clear. Now I can't hear anything. All right. I'm going to go take a shower. Okay. I'll come back in the chat in a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. So anyways, it's just me and you guys again. Just me and you guys. It's always been you and me. Hang on a second. I got to write this tweet. Hang on. Or this text. Hang on.
All right, I'm back. Full of energy. No, I'm not. Not really. Not really. Um, if anything, I'm just trying to get through it. I'm trying to, like, be excited, be happy. You know what I mean? It's hard. Yes, that's right, Hollywood. I see not loyal. You got to admit, that was a good song. I mean, he put a lot of work into that. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Like, the whole music video and everything. I wish I could do cool shit like that. I wish I could, don't you? How, I wonder what program he uses. I mean, and he sang through the whole thing. He wrote his own song. You got to give... And even that song he did about me, that was pretty funny, too. Classics. You didn't hear it? We played it earlier. Go to Yo Mama's channel. Give him the view. Go under his videos. He just uploaded it this morning, and it's called Hussy Ain't Loyal. Katie, use AI. I don't even know how to do that, to be honest with you. All them programs are weird, dude. And they charge out the ass. They charge out the ass for them. The difference between wanting a drink and needing a drink that hit me hard because I understand that yeah at this point for me it's just pure want it's not a need anymore it's just a want I want to be part of the atmosphere I want to be part of the crowd oh, I got bit by something on the back of my cab I think a mosquito maybe a spider because it's itching like fuck Got one more cigarette left in my pack, and that's it for me. So I'm holding on to it for as long as I can. I might take a little puff and put it out. This is it. As of midnight, no more. It's got to go. I got my little vape pen. There's no reason for it. It's the social thing. How can I replace the social thing? I'm sorry, but my favorite part was at the beginning when he comes skipping up in the music video. Hussy ain't loyal. God damn it. That song's gonna be stuck in my fucking head. Thank you, mama. You know, it's funny. There was a time I wanted to have a drink to have a good time. Then it became, I needed a drink. Yeah. So what? Did you give up drinking? Do you still drink, Cam? Or what? How does that? Oops. How's he want to go take a shower? He's going out tonight. So he's going to get all ready. He's going to go shower, put on a wig, put on his makeup. Yeah, it's hard. Do you still drink? Yeah. I think sometimes you need a little reset. You got to go back. I mean, not everybody. You don't have to completely quit drinking. When it, okay, I get it. People are drinkers, right? They're alcoholics. It is what it is. 
I think sometimes people can get a better handle on their alcoholism and still be able to function. You know, you see what I'm saying? But it takes a little reset sometimes. Like you need to get off the sauce for a while, realize reality and all that, and then go back to having a drink or two. But not every fucking day. Because sometimes it gets to a point. That's when you know you got a fucking problem when it's every day. There's like, no, that's not true. There's been times in my life where I haven't necessarily drank to get drunk. Here this past go round, yeah, I was getting fucking drunk. That was why. But there's been points in my addiction where I could have three or four drinks and not get blackout drunk and still whatever and still feel good. And still feel good. It, it goes in phases. I don't know. Just like every alcoholic I know goes in like phases. Like, how can I explain? Some, I, I mean, I know people who have consistently drank and just been a lush for as long as I can remember. But a lot of people I know, sometimes they're drinking heavily. Like, they'll be drinking a long, like, for like one or two years. They'll just drink like a motherfucker. And all of a sudden, they get off the sauce for a while or whatever, kick back. It reminds me, my friend Wayne does this, has done it off and on for years. Like, he'll drink like crazy every day. And I mean, blackout drunk. And all of a sudden, he'll just cut back. He'll just go off the sauce for like six months. Then he'll go to drinking just on the weekends. Right now, he's just on the weekends. And he'll do that for a couple years. And then he'll something will happen. And then he'll start drinking like a motherfucker, too. He like goes in cycles. My mom did that shit, too. She would drink a lot for a couple years and not drink for a couple years. And drink for a couple years and not drink for it. And then I think the last like 10 years, probably, she drank consistently, at least every day. Pretty much. It's kind of like Playboy. He had to cut back. He got his third, third, like three DUIs and he got put on probation. He had to go cold turkey and that was not what he wanted to fucking do. But now that he quit for that year and a half, now he only drinks like, I don't know, once or twice a week. But he went from, I mean, when we were dating, we were drinking from the moment we woke up to the moment we passed out at night for a solid year. We did that. It took your mom and your dad dying? Damn it, man. My brothers and say they all drink every day. And they all have good jobs, too. I don't know. What? What is it, Royley? What is it, baby Jeffs? Yeah, all my brothers and sisters drink every day. My dad has a drink. I mean, he has a beer here and there, but he was a full-blown alcoholic for a long time. I think one day I'll be able to have a drink and be able to have social cocktails again. But I can tell you one thing. I'll never be able to take drugs again. I'll never be able to just have one Oxycontin. Never. Never, never, never. Because what will happen is I'll start taking them. I'll be taking them by the handful. But I'm, God knows where I'll go from there. And that's one thing I know. I cannot fucking, not even one. And I have it. I haven't taken one Oxycontin since nothing God damn it. That's all that is stuck in my head. It's catchy though, isn't it? How did I deal with people eating when I first started losing my... That was easy. I just couldn't. 
Like I would not like if like say Doug or somebody was eating pizza, I'd eat, I try to eat the same thing. I just get fucking sick. And so it just got to the point. I realized I couldn't eat certain things, so I didn't try it. I just wouldn't fuck with it. You know what I mean? Um, I don't like to go out to eat very often because it's just I just don't like to I don't like to go out to eat. I don't like to eat like that, like people do. So I think it was just because I couldn't like I just couldn't. I'd still try. Don't get me wrong. I'd still fucking try. I remember one time I was live and ate a fucking pork chop and about killed myself doing it. I mean, it was bad. It was sick. People made fun of me forever. Yeah. And that's like, I can sit with my friends who use heroin and fucking do Oxycontin and I'm not tempted at all. It's just like, you know, I can sit there and smoke a joint or smoke a blunt with them and they do their thing and I might have a cocktail or whatever. Or sometimes not even that. But yeah. If you would have asked me within the first six months or a year out of, you know, being off of Oxycontin, if I could do that, I'd say, I don't know. I don't think so. But now, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I just shake my head at him because I know where that leads to. But in the first year, probably not. I probably would have been like, yeah, I could. But no, I couldn't. Like I say now, like my friends, if you do that shit, just it doesn't faze me. And I'd say my number one uh, addiction is oxycotton and drugs and you know all that that go with it drugs but i think over time it just became i just i don't have a desire for it anymore at all i don't go to meetings i don't work the program or anything i just i don't i just don't because i know in my heart of all hearts if i do it one time it's over for me i think that would be that's that and that was hard especially in the beginning but I'm not going to do it. Alcohol is not like, yeah, don't get me wrong. I've let alcohol become a big problem. But typically alcohol, I've always drank from the beginning of time. Like think about it back when I was like 27, 28. Everyone knew I drank then. But I would only drink like on the weekend or maybe once every, once a week or something like that. It was never an issue for years. But after I had my surgery, you know, it became an issue because I didn't have nothing else to do. I didn't have, I didn't have the love for food anymore. I was trying to like occupy myself with something else. Just what I got to do now and eventually. Like now, I eat what I want occasionally. Like food, I still eat what I want. I just have control over it, you know? That's what you got to have. You got to have control. Everything in moderation. Oh. I let it get out of, I let it get out of hand. I did. Probably because of boredom, I guess. Same reason why I ate. I, I would eat. I wasn't hungry. I was eating because I was bored. You know, I didn't, I wasn't getting high because I wanted to get high. Probably was high because I was bored and I started doing it. I was like, Ooh, this is entertaining. I might do this again. But yeah, no, actually I think honestly, if I like nowadays, if I did do drugs, I don't even think I'd like it, but if I did, I know I could walk away from it. it. Wouldn't be something I could, I just, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to tempt myself. And, like, even, like, I won't even fuck with cocaine at all anymore, especially with everything getting chopped up with this fentanyl and killing people left and right. I never was too big on it anyways, but now, no. Hell no. Fuck no. I had some random dude at a bar. I told you guys about this a couple months ago. He was like, here. He was trying to get me to, like, get him customers or something. I was just like, no. I don't even care if it's one of my friends doing it. The way that shit is these days, you never know. I remember back in, when I was like, I really tried, like, cocaine could get stomped on with, like, some s lax and, you know, you get the shits or whatever the fuck it was. But now it's getting with, like, that. It's That's what's killing everyone is they're, like, hunting with fentanyl. It goes longer and shit, and that's killing people. I don't, I just, I, it's not to be fucked with. Why would you even risk it? Yeah, rat poison, and, and then just all of it's bad. Not worth it. People say that about alcohol too, but 
Yeah, still drinking. Still do it. I don't, but you know, people do. Ooh, baby, I love your way. Everything. Hussy ain't loyal. <laughs> it always goes back to that. It's only been you and me. Be another late night. Everybody. So what everybody does, T girl, everybody's got it. An addictive personality. It just it it's what you decide to put it your addiction onto. Some people get addicted to losing weight. Some people get addicted to working out. Some people are addicted to reading. Everybody's got it. It's no one's right to judge someone's addiction over the next person. That's what I don't like. That's why I don't like talking to people who are like in recovery and shit. That would make you feel bad. Like T girl, eh, you make my fucker feel bad real fast. I don't, I don't take. You know what I'm saying? Like no, all right, whatever. You guys win. All right, you're all right and whatever. Moving on. I'm just saying I'm going to do me regardless. I know you guys are all working the programs or whatever, and you're all better than me because you're not addicted to shit. And may the Lord be with you and kiss your ass and all that. But my reality is I just know what works for me, and I know what doesn't. I know i got to put a little reset on my life, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to never drink again. If that's what you think, please, please, by all means, don't think that. Get it right right now. I'm doing a reset for my own state of mind, for my own health, for a lot of different reasons. But I've been telling you right here now, I'm not going to not drink anymore. One day I'll be able to drink again. I know, T-girl, but it, it just comes off like a know-it-all. It just, I don't like that shit. Like, I get it, whatever. You're right, I'm wrong. You win. Oh, my God. There's no, I've never seen that cat before. It's black and white. That's somebody's cat's got a collar on it. I know, you know it all. Just don't have a drink. You can't. You're an addict. You can never have one again. I get it, I get it, I get it. da, 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 da. da. That's why I don't really like going to meetings either. But, or, yeah. I just got to get a better handle on things when it comes to that part. And I definitely don't want to start eating like crazy again. I do need to gain weight and I'm going to. Just because I want to get more skin cut off. Other than that, I'm not going to get over 160 ever again. I just got to get to 160 to be able to get the amount of skin I want cut off. And I feel like not drinking is going to make me make that be able to happen, too, because I've been eating more. My cheeks are getting puffy. A little fatty. That's all right. Getting fat isn't the worst thing that can happen to you in your life. We're going to start, yeah, we're going to have a line of merch with 10 quotes on it. Are they really? Are all packets the same size? Do they look better? You can get a puff plus side. They're not. I, I was going to say, how can it? Like, I've seen some. They got baby caskets. <laughs> oh, well. It's going on a shirt. All caskets are the same size. What a racket Diane is. Okay, so just hear me out on this. So a family member, yeah, we're, you're sad. It's, anyone's sad when a family member dies or whatever. And then you have to spend so much money on this damn funeral, right? You got to buy a casket, that's a couple thousand bucks. You got to buy a headstone, another couple thousand bucks. Then you got to, you know, the party or whatever, the celebration of life and all that. I mean, it's, it's expensive to die. Why, though? Because just that little generation, like maybe your kids and shit like that will come and see your grave. The grandkids and the generations after that, they don't give a fuck. They didn't know who you were, and you're just an ancestor to them. So really, you're putting all this money in for the next 10, 20 years. Maybe you'll get a visitor once every couple years. More than likely not. What the fuck is up with this? 
like people in India, they just set you ablaze and send you in the river or send you in the ocean. And by the way, that's gross. And that bothers me. So where are these bodies going? Are they just like, you know, how they put them in the water and then they set them ablaze and they're like, you know, say love you, motherfucker. They're already dead anyway. So what's it matter? Well, why do you got to put them in the, why aren't they burying them in the ground like the rest of us have to? Why in the fuck are they doing that? And why is the ocean like littered with a bunch of Indian bones? Yeah, you missed yoga. That was earlier. Animals eat them like sharks. That's gross. Death is a racket. That's what I'm saying. We need to get in the death business, everyone. We need to get in the funeral home business. Yeah, taking advantage of it. If everyone had their own, yeah, if you just buried them in the backyard, how lucrative would that be? And some people do. If you have your own, are you allowed to do that still? Just take you out in the backyard and bury you. Can you do that? Can you get the body and say, no, we have our own? Because PJ's saying, like, she has her own little private cemetery. No, well, I'll take them on home and bury it just like you would an animal or something like that. I know that sounds bad, but. You can't. Oh, you have to get a permit. That makes sense. To deliberately hurt my feelings. What are you talking about, T girl? I th I figured it would be against the law, but listen. Do you guys remember? Do you know soft white underbelly on um on uh YouTube? Okay, you know the Whitakers, the inbred family. Remember when the oldest brother died? They buried him in the, across the street. How the hell did they get away with that? How did the Whitaker? Because we, and then PJ says that she can on her land. All you got to do is get like um. Like, uh, like a clearance or whatever. So, so they're they're allowed to do it in Kentucky or West Virginia. Yeah, they buried him across the street. They buried him in the fucking empty plot across the street. All right, and then he went out there barking at the fucking play. I was like, oh my gosh. So there, there are places where it has to be legal. Yeah, that's some West Virginia shit right there. <laughs> You can't be doing that shit in Michigan. How much you want to bet? You can't. You can't do that in Indiana. I guarantee you can't. Or we would have more people, absolutely more people doing that. We do it in Texas. A lot of people have their own cemeteries for their family. Okay. See, you can do it somewhere. I'm sure there's like ways to get around it. But I'm telling you, the Whitakers, how in the fuck did they get away with that? They just buried the dude in the front yard. Well, across, the, across that little fucking dirt road. Tigger, I'm talking in general. Anyone who was talking like that, I'm, I'm just saying. I know everybody. No, like Al's the same fucking way. You can't tell her nothing. She already knows the program. And da 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 da. I wasn't talking specifically to you. I'm talking to everyone who's talking like you. I know. I know. In AA, they say you can never have another drink again. Ever, 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 ever. I get it, but I'm not totally worried. I mean, I like something. I take what I like out of AA, and I kind of just leave the other shit. Like, I like the idea of AA, but I also like the idea of that new, um, you guys see the treatment center, the marijuana treatment center, or whatever. I don't know. And it works in all the men. I mean, supposedly it works, but who knows? We don't have that here. Everybody thinks, like, their program, some people just quit and fucking quit forever. And then some people quit and then get in control of it, is what I'm saying, and then go back to it. It's just, it depends on how you are. It takes all kinds. Me, I'm just working, like, my own program, really. I'm taking, you know, the spot. I like the fundamentals of AA, but some of the, I don't like, I don't like some of the clickiness of AA and how they make you feel kind of bad and shit like that. I don't like that. Ketamine tree. I can't remember what it was. It was, no, it's like, um, it's like a marijuana recovery. Hang on. Let me look it up. They have them in Colorado, California, all on the West coast. 
it's like a new thing. And they even have um, holistic treatment centers where people like they're doing this marijuana treatment. I don't know. I don't know. I just I have to ask read the article. Um, but they're all over the West Coast. Did you know that shrooms are legal in Colorado or in Washington? Somewhere over there. I think it was Colorado. They've legalized the lucid. I'm not kidding you. Hold on. I'm looking it up right now. Hang on. I told, I think it was Hussey. I said, Hussey, you know that they legalized that? And he was like, no, I did not. He was like, oh my God, I bet cocaine's going to be legal next. I said, no, they won't ever legalize cocaine because of the way that it gets chopped up with the fentanyls and shit like that. I don't see that happening. It could, but. I just, I don't see that happening. What are you doing, baby chat? Okay. Yeah, it's it's legal there, and it's expected to be legal in more states in the next up, upcoming years. Apparently, guarantee you that's not that don't count for Indiana. Indiana will be the last one on the list because Eli Lilly runs this state, <clears throat> and um, they're big pharmaceuticals. You know, what are you talk? What in the fuck is going on with T Girl? Everyone stop! Everyone shut up! I'm gonna have to give this attention. What are you talking about, Penny? When did I ever say she was not? Now I'm getting shitty. What's the fucking problem? This is going to make me fucking mad. I hope you're ready. What's the problem, T-Girl? Now you got Penny sucking ass, too. I need to know what the fucking deal is. Why can't we ever have a fucking conversation without someone getting their fucking feelings hurt? I'm getting irritated with this. I ain't got time for it. I don't care. The stupidest, littlest, petty motherfucking shit. Th does this say the attic? Does this say bodega? Does this say anything like that? Why in the fuck are we in our feelings? What the fuck did I say to hurt someone's feelings now? I'm not even drunk, so I'd like to know. No, you said she's a big... When did I say she wasn't, Penny? When did I ever say she wasn't? She's got you in a tizzy. Now I'm trying to figure it out. I just seen Baba Ganesh tell her to calm down. Now what the fuck is the problem? I'm sitting here trying to look at the fucking hallucinogens and fucking West Coast and we're on something else. I missed something here. What is going on? Hang on, Donna girl. Does this say anything like that? Why in the fuck are we in our feelings? What the fuck did I say to hurt someone's feelings now? I'm not even drunk, so I'd like to know. No, you said she's a big... When did I say she wasn't, Penny? When did I ever say she wasn't? She's got you in a tizzy. Now I'm trying to figure it out. I just seen Baba Ganesh tell her to calm down. Now what the fuck is the problem? I'm sitting here trying to look at the fucking hallucinogens and fucking West Coast and we're on something else. I missed something here. What is going on? Hang on, Donna girl. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out my damn self. Well, you just said that I. Uh, she's a big time supporter. What? What? Why would you say that? When did I say that she wasn't? And Ganesh told her to uh, calm down. So, and now she's saying, never mind. What the fuck is the problem? What is going on? Now I'm getting even madder. Why is she feeling bad? Why are you feeling bad, she girl? No drama. Not right now. Nothing is that deep to feel bad. There is no reason anyone should feel bad right now. None. When you were saying that. No, I'm saying in general. No, I'm saying in general. All of that. I wasn't saying specifically her. I just said it. she was talking along the lines, and that's why I used her as an example. Because I love... <laughs> I'm so lost. I wasn't talking about you specifically. I'm talking about in general. With the whole... Everyone who follows the... Says that. I'm just saying everyone works their own fucking program. I'm working my own program. That's it. But I believe, you know, you know, you think yours is going to, it's all in what you believe. It's all mind over matter. Whatever you believe is going to work, it's going to fucking work.
Good looking, PJ. Nothing to see here. No, everything's fine. I'm not singling you out, Tigra. I'm talking about like the whole fucking just the belief system itself. Everyone, and that's how everyone is. Everyone believes in what the fuck they believe in, right? But the whole that's what I don't like about the AA thing either. Is like that's what I was saying. And lots of pe people believe in that, and that's fine. Whatever gets you through it is what I'm saying. But for me, that's not going to get. That's it's just not going to work. It's not my reality. You know, that's that was all I was trying to say. Hold on a second. I'm still. I'm trying to find exactly the article that I read, and there's so many articles on it. Just know. Oh fuck! You guys want to hear something else that's crazy? Um, <clears throat> and you can look it up on, and you can go to uh, uh, what do you call it? I know. I've heard a lot of people say that I would fit in better at. There was actually a conversation going on at a meeting that I was at. I was overhearing it, and the guys were saying, yeah, I like NA meetings better. It's a lot more laid back or something like that. I don't know. I haven't been in years. But, A, they're very, very, this is it, you know, and they feel like, I feel like at AA, they're judgmental about NA or something. Okay, so, for instance, you're in the group, right? And you're, you, When you go around the group, you're, you say, you introduce yourself and you say, hi, like I say, hi, I'm Katie. I, I'm an alcoholic addict is what I should say. Right. But I don't. I say I'm an alcoholic because I feel like I beat the fucking I mean, and I know a lot of people in AA and recovery is like, no, you didn't. You're still in recovery. But I feel like I beat that addiction. So I just say I'm an alcoholic because that's my issue. Right. And mainly I and mainly I say that because I do feel like that. And the other reason I say it is because uh, if you're in an AA meeting, you say you're an addict, like they immediately are like, ugh, ugh. you know how AA yours are. They feel like they're the kings and queens of sobriety. And everybody else is beneath them. Tell me you don't feel that way in an AA meeting. I'm just saying. And I feel like they're they're better than any other addict because they're just alcoholics. I don't know. That's the impression I get. And I don't like that about the AA meetings. And maybe that's what turns me off a little bit. Is it's just like uh I don't know how else to put it. It just seems that way. They're like judgy. And that's one of the reasons. And I know I remember back in the day I would like to go to CA meetings better than the fucking AA meetings because I just felt like there were cooler people in there and the stories were a little bit better. And I have, you know, I went last year a couple of times and then this year I've gone a couple of times, but I'm getting more into it this time. So I'm starting to just see some things and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember this. Like just sometimes AA seems, but you know, it is, it's fine. It's whatever. And that's not what I'm there for. I'm not there to take, take that away from it. I've just noticed it. Uh. You just say you're not. I don't know. I haven't been in years. I'm talking probably 15 fucking 20 years since I've been. No, it's been about 15 years since I've been to an NA or CA meeting. But I do remember back in the day, they were always funner. And usually they were in like churches, like in it, like basements of churches and you could smoke cigarettes and stuff. I don't know if it's like that anymore, but I do remember that. And I remember you got keychains. You didn't get right. You got keychains in CA and NA, not the not the coins. You want to hear something fucked up? Even more fun. I got lots of fucked up things to tell you tonight. If you keep your tokens, that's good for one beer or one shot at most bars. Your AA tokens. Did you know that? You guys remember that? Don't you get keychains? Yeah, there were some meetings that had donuts. Always they have coffee. Everybody, everybody always has coffee in there. At, I know at the NA and the CA meetings, uh, well, actually, at most of the meetings, there's always like a thing. If you guys ever notice, there's always like a basket. Like they pass around the one basket, but they always have like a basket of like Hershey Kisses and shit. And some people just go and grab a handful and sit there and eat them the whole time. Mm. 
not all meetings have that and not all meetings have donuts either. If you go to like the clubs or whatever, they always have like a little canteen where you can get a snack like chips or a candy bar or a pop or whatever. I know. That hurt my feelings, Kim. I'll never forget that. I was like, I ain't never bringing this shit up again. I was proud at that point. I was. That, that's fucking sad. I don't even want to think about that. That's why, Lemur, that's why I want to eat so much chocolate and candy. My body's craving it. And I also feel hungry. Hungrier than I have in a while. My stomach kind of hurts right now because of that all of that spicy shit. I should have known better. Why, Hollywood? Why, Bakers, man? Why do they hate your guts? Where's the AR and salsa? I've seen AR earlier today. I haven't seen salsa today. Hey, gnarly toes. You were dating all the NA meeting flies. How does Ashley feel about this? The new Barbie movie. I want to see the new Barbie movie. I wonder if my dad will go with me. <laughs> He'll say, fuck, no, I ain't watching that. I would love to see that movie, though. Way before Ashley. How do you see their profile? Fuck this. Holy shit. Hang on. I gotta look up something. I look a mess. <laughs> Hello, good looking. Is Sandy the motherfucking squirrel? Hang on. Hmm. 
Sorry, I just had a look. <laughs> Anyways, where were we? Sorry, guys. Dirty Dan. I'm going to get you, Dirty Dan. <laughs> what? What's his name? Pastor Stephen Furtick? Oops, I accidentally hit some. Guys, why did my camera just go dark again? It's starting to get dark. Now we can tell ghost stories. I had to get up close to the camera so you can see me. Now we can tell ghost stories. I told you my fucked up elephant story, didn't I? Fucking work. I'm so impatient. I sure am not going to pray for it either. You pray for patience, oh God. I'll, I'll send it to you, won't he? There's Indie Girl. Katie, I'm going to dip out. In a few months, I will be staring at your chest instead of your eyes. You got this. Thank you. That's the kind of, that's what I want to hear more of. Thank you, Gnarly Toast. That, see, that's inspirational to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. I'll see you. I like that. Yeah, we need to tell scary stories. For my green skinned witch. Oh, hell. Let's go take a puff. Of the last cigarette I'll ever smoke in the next forever. Once I quit smoking this time, it's just time to be done. There's no going back. Okay. So hang on. Where did, did Hussie already cut out and get out? Well, he's taking a shower and putting on his makeup. We got cheap motel stories from the 90s. You stay in here. You hear that, Riley? I'm sure you do have quite a few stories. You're telling your scary story. I'm, I'm listening. Minion surrounding. Thank you, Bot Bot. Oh my God. Winning. You guys, I actually have two left. That means I can smoke more of this than I originally thought. <laughs> Winning! I got an extra cigarette to smoke. The bugs are bad this year, aren't they? But Bot is an asshole. I know we're we're listening, Ken. Write it in paragraphs and send it. The way it comes out faster. Because <laughs> people keep telling other shit. We got a hundred stories going on here. So you bought a Ouija boy, boy from a, a witch with a hooked nose in the middle of a forest with a bunch of minions. Green skin. In October.
storyteller type in caps. <laughs> the chat is demanding caps. Uh huh. I ate the hillbilly um, shepherd's pie. It kind of gave me heartburn, so I took an omeprazole, and now I feel better. Now I want something else because I'm scared it'll hurt my stomach again. It was good, but it was spicy. It was good, but very. It was a little spicy for me. Next time, I won't put the crushed red pepper in there. And make you feel that you don't remember all that. All right, T girl. You had a salad. What did you have on it? Did you put egg on your salad? Meat. Cheese. See, girl, I know you're here supporting me. You're starting to freak me out a little bit, though. I'm going to be honest. Now, I don't know what, what to think. I'm not saying that you haven't been here to support. I don't know where this is all coming from. And what kind of dressing did you use, too? That's important. Chicken, egg, croutons, cheese, bacon. Fuck yeah. All right, T girl, I got you. Loud and clear. French, is it the orange kind? And tacos. Is Kim telling this fucking story or not? Now we, she just left us hanging in October. A lot of people put. Are you talking about me, Tim? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. There's no caps. I don't have green skin. That's true. Okay, maybe not. Sounds familiar because I sold her a Ouija board once. Hey, to the highest bidder. <laughs> People who eat taco salad have Catalina dressing on it. Yes, the red, the red stuff. I live in a... Exactly. You're talking about Yaba. Now I know you're talking about Yaba. Look, I just smoked that whole cigarette down, see? That fast. Emerged with this horrible, dirty, dusty board named Luigi. I don't either. I put sour cream all over it. That's my salad dressing. Did you really, Gal Charlotte? You might like it here. Remember who brought you here. Chuckled hysterically. Continue. Sounds evil. Gal Charlotte was on YouTube as well. I think most of you came from YouTube. This sounds terrible, Cam. High is bitter. Wins. Wins this evil fucking board. Because I cannot have it.
That was the night I sold the ring, too. Yeah, most people came from YouTube. Oh, God, two idiots were hanging on. I gave every morning this was an evil board. Should just burn it my fucking self. Should just burn it myself. This idiot counted their money, even the shit in the couch. This is getting intense. I know, Wendy. I'm about to fucking burn some newspaper. I hate the smell of sage. It'll do the same thing, right? Probably set off my fire alarms. Never mind. This vixen devil. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is getting too much. That sage shit stinks, though. Remember, last time I lit it, Detroit was pregnant. We were eating McDonald's. It got it stunk up the place. We were at Stevens. Proceeded to bid on the demon board. That's Royal, not Jack's, by the way. Oh, I was the one who thought it stunk the worst. She would, she just sat there, kept eating her McDonald's. I was like, "Yeah, that stinks. Put it out." It is having to come up with the most. It was meant to be, I guess. Who's got to go potty? Anybody want to go outside and go potty? Oh, you fucked up your stuffy. <gasps> and you knocked over my chocolate milk, you son of a gun. Damn it, Royal. You can't be trusted. I literally go outside for a minute. The board took a for fortnight and a day to arrive. Should have never sent it. Come on, let's go potty, guys. I should have never sent it. You're making me feel terrible. Potty. Better Jack, you go potty? Come on. With a keychain, too. I'm looking skinny and hot. Oh, my God. Thank you. Mm, just for that. See that? Thank you. <laughs> ah, go potty. You go potty, J Royal. Come on, Royal. It's not in there anymore, stupid. It went this way. The box collected with care. Ah. Uh, Cam, this is depressing. Come on, Royal. Come on. Royal, come on. Royal! All right. Immediately set a fire. It had to be done. Royal, stop! What you motherfucker? You're gonna ruin my... Come on. Inside. He's gonna ruin my hot tub because a damn big-ass fighter was falling and he's seen it go past the hot tub. And he's seen it go past the hot... Or under the hot tub and I've seen it crawl on. And he didn't, so he's sitting there scraping at my hot tub. Baby Jax? Go potty. Demons don't burn.
<laughs> fun. It is a scary story. That's your version. See, that's depressing. I told you that thing was fucking evil. I, I gave that warning. I said, my life is falling apart. Come on, baby Dax. I don't wish that upon no one. Bop, bop. He's trying to escape underneath a hole. <laughs> yeah, that was entertaining. You had me on the edge of my seat, but I knew the ending. I want him to poop so that he don't poop in my house. You're a writer. You write horror. Horror novels. What are you doing, puppies? You gotta go potty? You gotta go potty or what? Come on. Let's go inside. He's like, no. I need to mow the fucking grass. Come on, Bob Ops. I'm getting ate up. Come on. Come on, Bob Ops. Japs. Now. Come on. You want a snack? You want a snacky? Jax does not fucking listen. Come on. Come on, puppies. Let's go inside. Come on. Oh my god, that dog's gonna get you. Royal's not out here to protect. Come on. You're gonna get ate up. I am. Good boy. Let's go inside. Let's go see what Royal has destroyed. You destroy anything, Royal? Hussy went out. Hussy has a Hussy has a channel, Krabby. It's the Hussy Lounge. Well, he wants to drink out of the little fountain. He drinks it all up and then it goes dry. Why did my garbage disposal go down? There's something wrong with my garbage disposal. What the fuck? My garbage disposal is not going down. What the fuck? <laughs> Billy.
my garbage disposal is not going down. Put a little bleach in there. The reset button. Where's it at? On the bottom. There's not a reset button on the bottom. No, you haven't, Billy, but you just did today. Hey, little Debs. I don't want to stick my hand down in there. What's that, Robbie? What are you looking for? It's spinning. Wait, it's going down. No, it's not. The water's filling up again. I don't have anything nice. Damn. <sighs> Something's wrong with my garbage disposal for sure. I'll tell Brian. Any leggy rum ham? I'm hungry. I don't want to. I'm going to eat another piece of this. Cornbread. Dolly Parton cornbread. Mm -hmm. 
Poxa, não, calma. Ó, deixa eu ver bem. Drama Star, baby, to get it. Little spin around. Yeah, hair naked shit. See? Should name me Punchy. Attitude or? He's got a personality. I know. You're an abuser. You're abusive. She don't give a fuck. I see any more way of looking at it. And that's all it like the chorus is catchy. I've been ate up by mosquitoes. At all. You just want to be petted. You're an abuser. You're abusive. Who's that? Girl, it's loyal. Yeah, I keep going outside and I keep getting, like, I got one on my calf and I got one on my leg and one on my back. Yeah. Again, drama's not going. Drama's abusive. You're abusive, baby. Ah. She's gonna go for me. Who I want? Ooh, I got another spicy chicken Alfredo. I could eat that. My dinner boy is all frozen. Drama ain't loyal. I keep seeing that. She don't like it. I'm gonna eat one of these things. I'm hungry still, but I don't wanna just eat the cornbread and that's and unfortunately the other stuff is too spicy. I know I don't I'm not gonna eat it. I do have I'm gonna eat this. The fried rice. I like this kind. I do have pot pies in here. I kinda want a whole pot pie. Let's keep my right here.
blind, so now I gotta keep moving my blind from my office into here at night because you can see right through this window. There's no privacy. See, fuck that song. What are your women doing to me tonight? See, that window has no fucking blind on it because of Royal's ass. Now, I've got to go get the blind out of my office. Oh, I have it on backwards. I see. Anyway, it's a little bit of privacy. <clears throat> what are you looking at, puppies? Alright, hang on. Letting my rice steam out. 